Hello everyone. Happy Scrap Saturdays. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this process video turned out a little bit better than my first one, but uh, I was still rusty. So you're going to see at the end there's still a lot of open white space, but I'm going for it. I'm going to aim to at least have one video up every Saturday. So it was really nice to see the comments that most of you are happy that I'm back and that I even had one person, I believe your name is Deb, and I hope you're watching this and you said that, you know, there was a missing piece to your um, scrapbooking and thank you. That was such a beautiful comment. So that means a lot to me. So I'm going to keep doing my best. I just do it for the fun of it. I hope you all know that. And um, there was a lot of understanding that sometimes things are the way they are and video recording is not my profession. <laughs> so working together on this is the best that we can do. I started off with a photo of myself and my husband and this is our limousine ride which we splurged on as a family to go to the airport for my 40th birthday and I cut this photo down to a three and a half by two and a half size and this is the only second time well no I've been in a limo before for like my siblings weddings but or even my own wedding but We've never done anything as crazy as this instead of taking a taxi, but we decided to just make it, you know, extra fun for my 40th. So these are still the same flowers that I had stamped out with my um, color box flower stamps. But what I did this time was I used my Ranger Gold embossing powder to stamp out the outline and then emboss it and it's just beautiful and then while they were still on the full page of stamping I took my paint uh, no my mists so I used my Heidi Swap in mint and some teal and I just smushed as you see I'm doing my background like that but with my full papers of stamping and then I used my Heidi Swap gold mist as well and I just kind of free for all all around it because embossing will create that resist and so the flowers or the paper will only take uh, whatever is left over. So on my background here, it's a little bit different than what I did for those flowers. I'm using my favorite uh, Martha Stewart paint, which is the beach glass. And so what I'm trying to do or what I think I wanted to do with more of my layouts is instead of hiding all of that beautiful mixed media that we do, I wanted to sort of bring my focus down to the bottom of the page to leave more of that exposed um, paint and mist because I actually like looking at it. Sometimes I get really sad that we create this amazing, you know, hodgepodge of amazing and hodgepodge. <laughs> this amazing collage, you know, mixture of paints that looks so pleasing to the eye because it's just, you know, if you like mixed media, then you know what I'm talking about. It's just this, you know, letting go of the neatness and it looks so pretty, right? It's just that abstract piece of art. And then we cover it up so much and we sometimes go back. And I think that's something I struggle with is that I, I don't like the messiness of the paper. I don't like the crinkling, but I love the end result. I think it looks marbled. I think it looks gorgeous, but then I feel sad to cover it up. I don't know if anyone out there feels that way, you know, to put so much effort into making something so beautiful and then to just cover it up. You, you still want more of it peeking through, I think. I mean, necessarily, you don't want the whole thing. I get it, but I, I think I'm gonna try to work more towards showing more of it, if that is what I'm, you know, getting at. I'm still using some of that Dear Lizzie uh, Polka Dot Party 6x6 paper pad because when I'm on a roll, I created this layout right after I created the other one. So the time that I'm in my craft room, I really sometimes just gravitate to the same things. Um, and you'll see I'm going to have a, I don't know, before this, there's going to be a layout share video or after this video, I'm not sure. And you'll see most of my layouts will continuously have the same theme. So I don't really scrapbook in necessarily one paper pad or one thing. I just go with whatever is on my desk and try to use up little bits and bobs and, you know, pieces of things. So I'm just trying to layer a couple of pieces where, I don't know, I'm using my ruler technique. Again, this is me coming off of a huge, you know, two, three month of no scrapbooking hiatus. So you got to bear with me. <laughs> but, you know, my usual layering with a little bit of tech, you know, twinges or tweaks is what is what I wanted to say here and there. 
that poor scooter I really wanted to use it I think I have like three or four little pieces left off of that chipboard summertime uh, embellishment piece that we had and I really wanted to use the scooter because you know we're in a we're in a limo so scooter right totally <laughs> I don't know I just wanted to use it because the colors are right so I really like the teals and the turquoises in it and I just thought it was cute it's different it doesn't have like we're not entering a contest and I think that's part of the honesty that I bring to scrapbooking and scrapbooking videos is that you just have to do it just glue it down and don't be scared and as I say this that scooter is going to move around all over the page I couldn't decide if I wanted it on top of the flower behind the flower underneath my photo I you know but in the end I was really happy with what I did I'm using the let's take a look because I wrote things down American craft thickers called June bug and I love them but they're very hard to take off of the backing of the manufacturer backing so I think my M is torn and I don't know if anyone else feels that like thickers are all over the place sometimes they fall off the backing sometimes they need extra glue sometimes when there are these foam letters they tear on me when I'm trying to pull them up or if I put them on my wax paper, they don't really hold up so well. So I am not sure. I'm adding some foam to just lift up the back of my photo because I really like very thick, chunky layouts. It's just what I gravitate to. And I am trying to just keep going with the same type of theme just to bring back my mojo. And I do use my hot glue quite a bit. I've been gearing away from my ATG. Um, maybe for the last year of scrapbooking and uh, I'm really getting used to wet glue and hot glue as just my source of adhesive for scrapbooking so I haven't really found anything else that gives me that instant gratification but also keeps my layouts together which is important because there is a lot of handling of them as well I sometimes rotate out in my frames upstairs in my home and uh, and then they go into my album so eventually when they make it there the scooter will end up on this left hand side but I really when I was doing this layout I really was I, I'm gonna be honest I was struggling with a lot of the placements and you know where do I want it what do I want to do but I really like this large um, teal flower that I had and I was gonna use it to kind of cover up the outstretched arm of my husband to help us with with the selfie that we were taking I did use, and I'm going to kind of try and reach for it while we're talking, but without making too much noise. The leaves on my flowers, I used the Prima Chalk Ink in Old Road, and it's like an olive green. And I really like the way it turned out. It kind of softened out instead of a harsh green or a green that would compete with the rest of the teal. So here I am trying to move that scooter on top of the larger flower but then I don't like it because I feel that it's covering up so much of that beautiful detail that I like with the gold embossing and stuff like that some more of my homemade tags that I think goes up to the top and it rests there yes and it says so love this and again that's another Monica thing that I always keep telling you if there's a style that you like just repeat it and I've been doing a lot of reading lately and I, I've been watching some I don't know if you've heard of this man but he's Bob Proctor and he talks about manifesting and he's the guy that kind of does like the um, the secret and stuff like that and he talks about repetitive positive reinforcement you know and with all the yoga that I've been doing lately and stuff like that I kind of had an epiphany one day when I was thinking yeah I do repeat myself in my yoga in my yoga videos geez in my scrapbooking videos I don't do yoga videos <laughs> do not ask me what my channel is for yoga I don't have one I'm delusional um, but no and and I thought you know sometimes I'm embarrassed when I say just do your thing grab your photo stick it down you know and I'm sort of you know always telling you to just let it go and, and be yourself find that true thing that makes you happy that repetition is okay in scrapbooking and watching Bob Proctor's videos that's exactly what his tips are to having a successful life is repeating that you are amazing that you are loved and that you have a place in this world that is so precious that only you can fulfill that 
And I found that, you know, it actually sparked me to come back and do these scrapbooking videos because I thought, yeah, if nothing else, I don't really, you know, it doesn't really matter if you enjoy my photos or my memory capturing because I'm doing it for myself and my family, correct? It's for them. But if with my voice, I can tell you and motivate you to love what you're doing, no matter how repetitive it is, by saying, grab that photo, start with that one photo that sings to you, that one piece of paper that moved you through the collection or your kit that you got or whatever it is that you have, or your favorite stamp, and then just stamp it a hundred times until your heart sings. I think that's what we need more of. It's okay to just do something over and over again that makes you so happy until we truly believe that we're in the state of happiness that we're all aiming for. So if that made no sense, I'm really sorry. I will explain it in more videos, but I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. So here we are bringing that limo ride title down to the bottom on top of the flower that I just finished telling you I didn't want to cover up with the scooter because I love the gold embossing uh, of the flower. But you know what? It just, it made sense to me. And then I just left that top portion open as I totally wanted to which I think it's a bit too pointy, to be honest. I wish I had made it more rounded out or I don't know. But it's all part of letting go of the creative process and not overthinking it and not taking it down with criticism, right? I look at the, the layout and in person, the gold, that's just that Heidi Swap gold. I mean, it makes everything magical, I think. And so I'm coming in with a few more of the little baby flowers, as I call it. These ones are just plain stamped, and it's stamped with um, Heidi Swap, a pink, uh, is it a Heidi? No, yeah, it's a Heidi Swap ink that I have, but the leaves are all the same with that uh, Prima one. Those are some Recollections white enamel dots, which I love. I love the look of white enamel dots. It's like a bigger explosion of white paint. I think white and gold enamel dots are my absolute favorite in this whole world. And there I have the wood veneer people, you know, the me and him. I have so many because the package I bought has like a hundred of these little people. Yes, I secretly love calling them potty people, but I know that that's not politically correct for internet, but you need to know the truth. To me, it's potty people. And the pineapple, yeah, it looks like it's tucked into the back of the scooter and that we're on our way to a Hawaiian fiesta, even though we're on our way to Cuba. <laughs> Same thing, right? Pineapples here, pineapples there. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to use up whatever was left on my desk. That's the truth. Whatever matched this, because I knew I'm like out of sequence, but the photo is what I wanted to scrapbook because on the other side, it was a photo of myself and my husband. So I always at least try to keep it in that sequence so that if I'm putting it into one album, it's separate from some of the albums that I'm creating for the kids. I use some foam dots to raise up some of those leaves or at least to give them some sort of support when they go into the album so that they don't turn out completely flat. And at this point I was raising it up just so that you know that you know this is what it looked like and that's what it was. And now it comes to that fussy time that I call it where I'm just trying to add little bits and pieces to complete it. And I just usually either go too crazy or just enough and hopefully I know when to stop. This is a homemade tag that I made myself with the stamp captured. I should do a video and show you how I go kind of like crazy and, you know, do all of my embellishments ahead of time so that you can kind of follow along or create your own at home. And I just felt that I needed to anchor something at the top just because the space was just bothering me a bit. So the heart H stamp is from Felicity Jane. And one of the flowers that I created, I stamped on top of each other by accident because when you use um, embossing ink, you can't really see it or maybe I wasn't paying attention. But I still followed through and completed it. So I used that half flower at the top. And this is an American Crafts gold arrow. Um, what do you call those? paper clips <laughs> and I love adding those to my projects so there's a few it's it's a trend right most of my layouts are gonna have that cohesive trend where most things look kind of the same and so yeah see there's my other layout on the back I love using both sides of the paper unless the other side of the paper isn't my favorite thing then I won't always use it so here I'm just cutting up this flower because I like the leaves and I want the leaves to stick up, up at the top because something's telling me that it's missing something. 
and then I'll tuck the other one at the bottom or just behind the limo title. And so all that's left now is the last thing that I always gravitate to with my Versamark uh, Black Onyx ink. And I'm using either an Amy Tan stamp or an American Craft stamp that I really like because the words are so tiny and they just fit there. I don't have very many. I think I may need to invest in a new one this year with some more words because I really like that. I really like the stamping that comes to it. And then the date stamp at the bottom because... I had to really think about it. Like, when did I turn 40? I'm turning 42 this year. Oh my goodness. Where does the time go? And so here I'm coming to that point that I was talking to you about earlier where I'm trying to add in something that doesn't belong and I'm just supposed to stop, but I'm not listening to myself. I'm at that point where I'm just done, done, and done. And I'm trying to use this tag that I'm like, eh, it doesn't go, it doesn't want to stay. And let me tell you, it doesn't stay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope this process video was better. I hope that I inspire all of you. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it so much. Sending you all a great big Monica hug. Have an awesome day.